hello everyone you're welcome to this channel in this video we have this nice equation over here and then we want to find x so how then do we find x now if today is your first time on our channel kindly subscribe and don't forget to like and comment as well so we want to find x over here but looking at the equation carefully we can see that we have a common term over here so we are going to let the common term be any variable so we are going to let say y to be equal to a common term which is square root of x plus 11. now the equation is now going to be the square root of x plus y plus the square root of x minus y to be equal to 4. so from here i'll transpose this square root to the right hand side so i'm going to have square root of x plus y to be equal to 4 minus square root of x minus y so having this i'm now going to square both sides so square both sides i'll get this squared and then this also squared so with this one the square will take care of the square root so we'll be left with x plus y to be equal to so with the right hand side we can expand it as 4 minus square root of x minus y multiplying 4 minus the square root of x minus y so let's consider the right hand side so we are going to have 4 times 4 gives 16 then 4 times minus square root of x minus y we are going to have minus 4 times the square root of x minus y and then minus the square root of x minus y times 4 we are going to have minus 4 times the square root of x minus y then this times itself we are going to have positive x minus y so this is equal to x plus y now we have x plus y to be equal to 16 minus 4 times this square root minus 4 times this square root we are going to have minus 8 and the square root of x minus y plus x minus y so what we do here is that we are going to transpose the terms without the radical sign to one side and then keep the one with the radical sign also to another side so when we do that we are going to have x minus x will give me zero and then minus y y i'm going to have two y so this will be equal to 16 minus 8 root x minus y so you can still bring this one to the other side so you are going to have 2y minus 16 to be equal to minus 8 root of x minus y so from here we can see that they, we can see that we can divide the equation by 2 2 2 2 so you are going to have y minus 8 is equal to minus 4 root of x minus y now getting to this part what we do is that we are going to square again so squaring both sides we are going to have this squared and then this squared so when we expand this we are going to have y squared minus 60y plus 64 is equal to so with this one we are going to have 16 times x minus y come in okay so let's expand this one so we are going to have y square oh sorry we are going to have y square y square minus 16 y plus 64 to be equal to 16 x minus 16 y so minus 16 y will cancel minus 16 y now you are going to be left with y square plus 64 is equal to 16 x so let's bring this to the other side so that we left zero over here you're going to have y square 
plus 64 minus 16 X to be equal to 0 now we said y is equal to the square root of s plus 11 so we have to bring it over here so we are going to have the square root of s plus 11 all squared plus 64 minus 16 x to be equal to 0 so with this one the square root will take care of the square so we'll be left with x plus 11 plus 64 minus 16 x to be equal to 0 so from here we can add x to 16 so we have x minus 16 x are going to have minus 15 x and then 11 plus 64 is going to give me plus 75 so this will be equal to 0 so now I will send 75 to the right hand side so I'm going to have minus 15 X is equal to minus 75 so the Bible said by minus 15 minus 15 so this cancel out this X is equal to 5 so I think that is all now we are end with today's video if you find this video useful kindly subscribe and then let's learn more